Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and today we're playing with puppets. Let me move this a little bit out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. We're going to look at easily how you can construct a puppet stage like this for your kids, but we have so many puppets from which to choose. These are just the stick puppets. We also have paper bag puppets, we have finger puppets, but look just at stick puppets. There's a princess, a mermaid, a butterfly, a unicorn, a dragon, and I especially want to focus on we have a prince, we have a castle, and we have a frog. And if you haven't seen how easy it is to embellish these, I thought I would just show you a couple of steps. If I cut out the, one of the top turrets in yellow, and I'm just lightly marked with pencil where I want to trim the, the rest of what will be this fl yellow flag, and using that pencil line as my guide, I'm going to just trim off and then go ahead and fasten this right over the top. Because it's cut with the die, it's going to align perfectly. And then I've done the same thing here with what will be the red flag. I won't actually stop to do it, but you can see by cutting out a darker gray and a lighter gray for the castle, I could go back and trim all the turrets. Basically, when you add all of the detail, look at how fun you end up with this really cool castle. Now, if your kids are gonna play, have all these puppets to play with, how fun is it to be able to create a puppet stage or a puppet theater? I was surprised at how easily this went together. I went to the home improvement store and I bought a piece I'll bring this over so I can show you dimensions. I bought a piece of foam core that was two feet by four feet. And all I did was come in and trim 12 inches and off the other end, 12 inches. What that leaves is one foot on this end, one foot on this end, and two feet square in the middle. And then from this two feet square, I just came in three inches all the way around. So the frame is three inches all the way around. That gives you the opening. The size of the dowel that I used is quarter inch. The reason I use quarter inch is because when we get ready to poke the holes in order to thread it through, it will work with just a normal number two pencil. What you want to do is you want to take the foam core. And so I brought in a little piece of foam core so that I could show you. You take the foam core and where you want that hole to be, I started by just making a little pin hole with just a push pin. And once you have it started, then you want to take a pencil get it started in that hole. Its foam core is so incredibly easy to work with. You poke and push it through, and the size of this number two pencil is the absolute perfect size to work with that quarter inch. This is now gonna be perfect for that quarter inch. Now, if you want this to be at an angle, all you have to do, you can see I did it right here, is just poke your hole at an angle, and it will slide through at an angle instead of straight up. So many easy choices. The other thing that I did is I cut out several different circle shapes in order to just create the look of polka dots. Now, once you have the dowel, you're going to use the dowel in order to thread it through the curtain. So I've just flipped over. Actually, a friend of mine did this for me, but she hemmed the top and the sides and the bottom. And there's a little pocket in the top, which is what you're, makes it easy to thread the dowel through. This is actually a little thicker dowel, but it works just for me to show. So you poke the dowel through, and then depending on how much gathering you want, you do like this. I would slide the other curtain on and then put them into the middle, leave enough room exposed on both ends. And then what you're gonna do is just from the inside out, you're going to open this up and put one through one side, put it through the other side, and then, oh, Marty was so ingenious. I was trying to figure out nuts, bolts, screws, what was I gonna use to keep this from coming open? A rubber band, it's that simple. You just take a normal rubber band, wind it a few times until it's taut and it will hold this. So it was gonna stay as long as you want it to. And then when the playing is over, you can pull the rubber band off, dismantle the whole thing and it folds flat. You know, it's not difficult to build a small stage to make your puppet programs that much more special.